Monday Night Raw, the night after the Royal Rumble. You know, I gotta say, this is one of the first reviews that I'm completely split on how I felt about Raw tonight. Really. First and foremost, let me say happy birthday to Sheamus, the Celtic Warrior. I want to mention Jericho coming back last night and being on Raw tonight is awesome. I don't care if it doesn't make sense that he got fired and then Vicky hired him back, but how does that happen if his contract was terminated? Whatever. I don't care. Jericho is awesome. He literally him being back is is one of the few things that there is left to be excited about in WWE. Especially him as a face. I hope they keep him as a face because he's great. Great entertainer. Awesome. Trish Stratus being inducted into the Hall of Fame, I'm so happy for that. I am. Trish Stratus has to be the best diva of all time. She is. I'm sorry, Sonny. I'm sorry, Sable. I'll even say I'm sorry, Lita, as much as I love Lita. Trish is the best, and she definitely deserves it. I do hope that Lita gets inducted eventually one day, though. Uh, then The Rock being champion. I know some people are upset because they they wanted Punk to keep the belt because The Rock has just come back. He's not consistently here, and they feel like he's just being handed the belt. I get their complaint, but at the same time, the 12-year-old inside of me couldn't help but be excited when he saw The Rock win the title. And it brings me back to the Attitude Era. Rock Seeing Rock with the WWE title is... Is something. It's amazing what that can do. And seeing him on the show and him and Punk going back and forth, great stuff. The rematch will be at Elimination Chamber. And it's like, oh, well, The Rock won't have Elimination Chamber match. That kind of sucks. But at the same time, like, I don't really care that much. I don't. I, I'm looking forward to that rematch. That's actually a rematch I would much rather see. But I'll get to that. Uh, some of the shitty things that happened on the show. Ryback, they had Ryback telling jokes. Really? Do you really not have anything for Ryback to do anymore? Wow. Tensai in lingerie dancing. Need I go on? If Ron Simmons wasn't there to say damn, then I would probably would have just changed the channel. Kali doing karaoke. Butchering Shawn Michaels' music. Like, why does Kali get TV time? Like, some of the stuff on this fucking show pisses me off so much that I literally say, what the fuck am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? Who writes this bullshit? It's like, I have a three-hour show, two hours of it is fucking trash. And you get one good, solid hour out of that three hours. And, like, the way the show ended, I loved it. Vince McMahon was about to fire Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman, like, lying through his fucking teeth, like the snake that he is. They showed the footage of Paul Heyman admitting or telling Brad Maddox that they paid him, they paid the shield, it, even though it was obvious. And I'm a little disappointed that they just went with that obvious sort of way. I was hoping it would be more of a surprise. McMahon's about to fire him, and then Brock Lesnar makes his triumphant return. Awesome. F5's Vince McMahon, and you know that's going to lead to another rematch with Triple H. I know, it's like another rematch. It's like WrestleMania is going to be filled with rematch galore. But it was just awesome to see Brock Lesnar back. Rematch galore, this is where I get to my serious hardcore rant. John Cena, I am officially saying right now, because you can see my other reviews, you can see my older videos on Raw. Well, I will say, I don't hate Cena. I've constantly said, I don't hate Cena. I just get sick of him winning all the time. I'm sick of him being shoved down our throats. But you know what? Fuck it. I hate Cena. I now hate Cena. After tonight, after him winning the Royal Rumble, after him with his cocky, smart-ass attitude and arrogance, fuck John Cena. I'm, I'm fucking sick of him. I'm sick of him winning all the time. I'm sick of him hogging the spotlight. I'm sick of him being corny and just... Like, not funny, not entertaining at all. He gets booed all the fucking time, but yet you're going to have him in the main event. You're going to have him sit there and wait 10 hours because he's like, oh, who am I going to pick to fight at WrestleMania? I wonder. Like, it's not fucking obvious that you weren't going to pick The Rock, you fucking dumb shit. I don't care for John Cena. I don't care about his Fruity Pebbles. Who cares, really? You had a, a five-minute conversation about who's better, John Cena or Fred Flintstone. 
That's how cheap, that's how corny, that's how played out this motherfucker is. I'm so sick of it. He's full of himself, he's talking like, oh yeah, 29 guys could come out here and say that they could win the Royal Rumble, but only one man could do it, and I'm the best, and this and that, and bullshit, bullshit. Dude, we know you're Mr. McMahon's hand-chosen, chosen one boy, alright? You're not better than everyone. You were chosen to win this Rumble because for some reason, Mr. McMahon has his head buried up your ass because he thinks you're the company. He thinks the company can't go on without you. I got news for you, Cena. You've been main eventing the last eight straight WrestleManias. Eight straight WrestleManias you've been in the main event. That's bullshit. Even Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, Triple H, all these guys haven't main evented that many WrestleManias straight. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. You're not that fucking good, Cena. You're not. You're a horrible fucking wrestler. You're horrible on the mic. You're not entertaining. You're boring. You're, you're, you just go away. Go the fuck away. <clears throat> all right, so clearly I'm pissed off. And I think that's where I'm going to leave this video. Fuck John Cena.